hey, this is the Squire Vintage Modified 70s Stratocaster that I got about three weeks ago. And I've been playing the heck out of it. The only issue I've had with the thing so far is this jack right here has been trying to wobble loose a little bit. So just gonna pull that out so it doesn't twist around, make sure this nut's tight. It's still got the plastics on the back. So I figured today, pull the plastics off, make sure this jack's tight, take something like a guitar pick and stick underneath the lip of the knob. That way you won't scratch your pick guard by using a screwdriver or something. Put the pick underneath the lip, keeping gentle pressure, and then turn the knob. This will lift the knob off of the post evenly, and voila. Repeat this step for both tones. Pick underneath the lip, pressure up, twist the knob. There you go. So much easier than scratching your pick guard up with a metal screwdriver. This right here is the reason I say to do this right, you need to pull the pick guard off so you can loosen these pot nuts here to get the plastic out from underneath. I'm not going to do this without taking the pick guard off because you could twist the pot around and might mess the wiring up. So for right now, we're just going to work around this. See how you still got a little bit of plastic tag under there? Whenever the restring comes, I'll slip these knobs back off and, and just do it right. Pulling the plastic off now just because I don't need uh, I don't need a shredded hair net underneath my fingers. It's like the plastic's gotta come off. So yeah, this this was the uh, this is all that's left of the top layer. And there's still most pick guards have two layers. I was gonna loosen all of these pick guard screws just to go ahead and get the outer tags off. But you know what? That probably isn't necessary right now. I'll just wait for the restring on that one too. All right, this is the part where you guitar snob guys are gonna be like, just pull the strings off. Just pull the strings off and put, put a new set of strings on it, man. Just pull the strings off, man. I'm not clipping them off yet. I got plenty of shredding to do on those. <laughs> See this crap right here? For right now, I'm just gonna go around, pick any of the little plastic tabs off. The main area is where the where the tabs stay on is on these potentiometers here. So whenever we do the restring and loosen these, there'll be little cellophane rings underneath. There'll probably be little cellophane rings under half of these screws also. So that stuff will all come off on the restring. Putting the knobs back on, I like to turn all of the pots all the way up and line them up where Volume tone tone is pretty much upside down on the post. Maybe leaning a little bit to the left. That way when everything's all the way up and you look down from playing position, everything, the tens are looking at you. All right, next is the back plate. This is set up the same way, two layer cellophane. Pull this outer layer off. And then there's the main layer under here. It's not really sticking under the screws back here, so that's pretty cool. Cellophane's off the back plate. Now there's the neck plate here. All right, no more cellophane on the guitar. Next, I want to pull this off and get a look at this, tighten this jack nut up. That metal tongue for this jack needs to stay on the bottom. So you take a socket driver set and find the right size, which looks to be here. Mm. 
Yeah. Put the socket driver on the input jack nut, just like that. Hold on to the assembly and the jack underneath to keep it from spinning. And then just swiftly give it a tug to the left. You don't have to like snap it in half. And that thing shouldn't come loose for a while. These can just be finger tight, you know. You don't want to torque on them, strip them out. Hey, if you like this video and would like to see more like it, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified and won't miss anything. I go live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Live guitar stream. Tuesday live guitar hangout. See you later.